G'day, 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 g'day everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Everyone over on Patreon, everyone over on YouTube. Hopefully you all are feeling fantastic today. Hopefully you all had a fantastic time in the, during the live stream. It was absolutely awesome. I loved the live stream last night. Hopefully, um, yeah, like I said, hopefully you guys had a laugh. It was absolutely hilarious. But today, guys, we're going to take a look at this was recommended um because we did react to the the secrets about the titanic this is the truth about the titanic has been revealed now i'm hoping a lot of the stuff in this one wasn't in the video we have just watched on the titanic and uh, and i do see in the thumbnail it says they lied to us now that is a that is a heavy statement. That is a heavy statement. But Brightside is a is a pretty good uh, YouTube channel when it comes to a lot of information that has been broadcasted to us. So, um, yeah, let's just see what they have to say and what they have found out. And if they have said the truth about the Titanic has been revealed, obviously there's some factual statements inside of that. So... Guys, without further ado, let's just get right into today's video. Remember, if you're going to go watch movies, including Titanic in full and other movies every single day and TV series every single day, head over to Patreon, guys. The best way to do it is down below. It will be a link. Go have a look, guys. I'm sure you will have a lot of fun over on Patreon as well. And now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's do this. Ah, scientists finally reveal the truth about the Titanic. On April 14, 1912, at 11.40 p.m., RMS Titanic had a terrible accident that led to its ultimate demise three hours later. By 2.20 a.m. in the early morning of April 15, the biggest ship of its time had completely disappeared under the ice-cold surface of the Atlantic Ocean. Mm -hmm. The Titanic took more than 1,500 we lives with this. it as it sank to its watery grave. That's more than two-thirds of all the people on board. The cause of this horrible disaster leading to so many deaths was an iceberg the ship crashed into. Or so we've always been told. But scientists' most recent findings have debunked this theory. In huh? this video, We'll tell you the whole truth that has been buried for over... So it wasn't an iceberg? What the heck? Huh? It wasn't an iceberg. For 100 years. At 882 feet, 9 inches long, 92 feet wide, 175 feet tall, and with a usable volume of 46,328 tons, the Titanic seemed indestructible. People could walk for miles along her myriad passages and decks. Even the ship's officers needed over two weeks to remember their way around this huge yeah, construction. Right. The Titanic had four massive smokestacks. Each of them weighed 60 tons, and they extended 81.5 feet above the deck. Okay. Such an impressive height was necessary to avoid covering the passengers in 100 tons of soot blown off daily. Ah. The smokestacks were placed at a 30-degree angle to look even more astonishing and imposing. No less awe-inspiring was the cost of the ship. Its construction demanded $7.5 million. If we take into account modern exchange rates and inflation, in 2016, they would be paying $166 million. Surprisingly, it would turn out cheaper than the production of the world-famous movie Titanic in 1997, yeah. which cost $200 million. Come again? That's how much Titanic cost. So, was $100 million spent on Leonardo DiCaprio, or...? $200 million. My eyes twitching. Two hundred million. What? <laughs> Two hundred million? In nineteen ninety-seven, two hundred million. Let let's just get that into your head, guys. Two hundred million in nineteen ninety-seven. Yeah. Harland and Wolf Shipyard took on three thousand men to build the ship. 
Even with a huge labor force working six days a week from six in the morning, wow. it still took 26 months to complete the monumental task. It was a difficult and dangerous work. Imagine doing something at the height of a 20-story building with no safety ropes. But these people needed money to support their families. Mm. The builders got two pounds a week, which doesn't sound like much, but it was a competitive wage back then. Unfortunately, eight people died during the building process. Yeah, well, if out of the 3,000 men there was no safety protocols, I'm sure there would have been some deaths evolved, in, evolved, wow, involved. But that's crazy. I'm still in awe of how, how expensive the movie was. And 246 were injured. So it's really hard to fathom that such a complicated mechanism with all the work, effort, and money spent on its creation could just sink because of one iceberg. Well, new findings give us reason to believe well, that the original- tell me then! Tell me, come on, bro, tell me! Cause of the catastrophe was not ice, but fire. What? The complete opposite? Journalist huh? Sana Maloney has been studying the fate of the Titanic for more than 30 years. It was he who discovered a huge 30-foot-long black spot on the hull of the ship. He noticed it after examining a photo taken before Titanic's departure. The journalist got hold of an album of previously... So was this the Titanic? The unpublished photographs that showed the construction of the ship and the preparations for her first and last journey. The fire had to have been burning for three weeks at a very high temperature before somebody noticed it. Metallurgy experts are sure that such conditions could have easily weakened the metal yeah, but for three weeks? No one noticed a fire? For three weeks? Oof. That's tough. No one notices a fire in a ship at all. Like, not even... Not even a single piece of smoke coming out of, of a window, a gap in the window at all, or... or well, there wouldn't be gaps in the window, yeah. Well, maybe there is above. But not even red flames. You can see red flames from windows that were... Know, that's weird. I find that really weird. Reducing its strength by as much as 75%. That's why the no iceberg... No wonder why it hit the iceberg and sunk, if that's true. 75% weaker. Didn't have any problems yeah. tearing a hole in the side of the ship. But that was a big ass iceberg. That was a big ass iceberg. If not for the fire, it would have been impossible. But the fact that the iceberg hit exactly the spot with the compromised metal is oh, one of the incredible things. No links. way. So out of the whole ship, where that fire was, it hit right on that point. How unlucky do you have to be? Surely someone would have reported this or something. Or maybe there was just too much money involved. But surely someone reported it. Surely someone did. Wow. Wow. All right. In the chain of the Titanic's tragic what ifs. The management of the project knew about the fire and the fact that the ship shouldn't have set off on that fateful voyage. Well, what the... Money, money. I guarantee you, wait for it. I'm guaranteeing you he's about to say money. I bet you any money, I bet you any money, there you go, that there was too much money invested in this. They didn't want to stop it. I bet you. But it would have meant bankruptcy for the ship's owners. I'm not drawing to a conclusion, but my mind's open to a lot of things.
But this one is crazy if this actually did happen. Wow. The thing is that at the time, miners all over the country were on strike. So there was no coal to sustain the Titanic. Oh, but the tickets had yeah, already right. been sold out and other ships had been canceled since everybody wanted to be the first to sail uh, on the largest ship known to mankind. So that's why other rivalries, uh, other, other uh, companies that owned their own ships, that's why they, they were on this one, yeah? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's why the owners of the Titanic bought all the coal they could find, <laughs> and even the coal from other ships. Yeah, right. Canceling the trip seemed out of the question. Yeah, so, well, to if they bought all the coal from all the other ships and as much as they could find, I don't think it was ever going to be canceled, the trip. <sighs> ridiculous. Absolute ridiculous, guys. To conceal the truth, the ship was turned in such a way that the marks from the fire faced away from the docks toward the sea. Yeah, right. Therefore, the passengers couldn't see them. Ha 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 ha! What? Ha ha ha! Oh man! Wow! Wow! I feel so sorry for the passengers that were on this. I feel so sorry for the passengers that were on this death trap. I'm telling you right now, this was a death trap. The more videos I'm watching now with you guys, the more I'm realizing just how much of a hot box this was. Thus, the journey began. The interior of the Titanic was based on that at the Ritz Hotel in London. The grand staircase went down seven out of the ten decks on the ship. Yeah. It was decorated with paintings, bronze cherubs, and oak paneling. The facilities for the first-class passengers included a swimming pool with heated water, a Turkish bath. I don't think we saw that, the swimming pool with heated water. I'm not too sure we saw that, guys. Let us know if we saw that in the movie. The Turkish bath. We didn't see that either, but Turkish baths are... Uh, they look amazing. I've seen videos of these. A gym, a squash court, and a mm. beauty salon. Yeah, right. Ladies could even order a stylist to help them get ready for dinner. They had an onboard newspaper called the Atlantic Daily Bulletin. There was even a special place for first-class passengers' dogs. Mm. The pets were fed, taken for walks, and could even be trained during the voyage. Yeah, right. The meals for the first class included 13 courses, each with its own wine. They Third. Mate, I struggle with a three-course meal, let alone 13 courses. Are you kidding me? You have to have 13 asses for that. What are you going to do? Put it... Put it, put the rest of it in your handbag for later on or what? Fair dinkum. 13 courses. Oh, you can tell that I... <laughs> uh, where I come from, there's no, <laughs> there's no 13 courses. Uh, you'd be lucky to get even three courses. Three courses is like a 15 course meal for, for, for me. Far out. There you go. I, I, I actually, to think about it, I d growing up, I did not have a three-course meal at all. <laughs> I'll be lucky to have a half a course. <laughs> they were a big occasion, lasting about five hours. There were one and a half thousand bottles of wine, 20,000 bottles of beer, and 8,000 cigars. Wow. Yet, there were no binoculars. Yeah! No binoculars. Yeah, right. Remember we, we, we... <sighs> I wonder why they didn't have those binoculars. Well, we know the reason why, because they were locked away. But surely someone else could have brought some onto the ship. Surely. Why is this fact worth mentioning? Because having binoculars could have saved the Titanic. 
Here is another tragic coincidence in the chain of unfortunate events. There were no sonar systems in those times. Mm. So to detect... I think sonar systems would have helped a lot. Helped so much. It would have... Uh, they would have avoided everything, I think. Threats ahead of a liner. Special people kept watch using binoculars. But the binoculars on the Titanic were had locked. been locked away in a yeah. special compartment. The only person with the key to the locker, Second Officer David Blair, was replaced at the last minute. He was in such a hurry to leave the ship that he forgot to hand the key. See, I find that suspicious too. He was in a hurry to leave the ship after being replaced. Mm, he just misplaced the key into his own pocket. ...over to his replacement. This fateful forgetfulness was discovered only three days later when the ship was already at sea. If the crew had gotten the binoculars, they would have noticed the iceberg early. You don't think they could smash it with something and uh, get into there? You don't think they could smash it? Smash the room, get the binoculars? No? And would have just enough time to avoid the crash. Perhaps the crash could also been avoided if the ship hadn't been breaking the speed limit. They were falling behind. Oh yeah, that's right. They were too because they were saying more coal, more coal. That is right. Yes, that is right. So I wonder, oh dude, this just puts so many things into my head. I'm wondering if they actually if they if they actually went a an, an appropriate speed if they could have avoided it altogether as well that's interesting schedule and this was unacceptable as it could ruin the titanic's reputation that's why the reputation or boat sinking It seems like to me there was a lot of dodginess that happened on this ship. And I feel sorry for, like I said, I feel so sorry for the families and everyone that died on this ship because I swear it was doomed before it even it had taken off. It was doomed. The ship was moving at a speed much higher than the one it was designed for. Another criminal negligence was connected with the lifeboats. In order to contain all the people on board, the Titanic needed about 60 lifeboats. The chief designer, Alexander Carlyle, something, wasn't planned it? to equip the ship with only 48 boats, but eventually the number was reduced even more to 20. 20. <sighs> all because of the rich didn't want their views to be disrupted. This honestly makes me sick to my stomach. This makes me sick to my stomach knowing all these people that lost their lives because of stupidity and selfishness. This was done purely for cosmetic reasons. Of course. Since the deck looked too cluttered with 48. These 20 boats could seat only one third of all the people on the ship. Surprisingly, such a hugely insufficient amount of lifeboats was mm. technically legal. According to the laws of that time, the number of boats depended not on the number of passengers, but on the tonnage of a ship. Yeah, right. What's more, at the time... How does that make sense? Who made up these laws? Was he drunk at the pub while making them, or what? <sighs> the Titanic's construction, lifeboat drills were standard practice on ocean liners. This way, the crew could prepare passengers for an emergency should it occur. But this type of drill never took place on the Titanic. The irony, the irony. How does that not happen on the Titanic? The biggest, the biggest ship to set sail in the world and the one of the most important things did not happen. How does this make sense? This is why I'm saying to you guys, it was doomed before it had taken off. Captain Edward John Smith canceled the drill scheduled on the morning of the day the Titanic sank. Nobody knows the reasons for his decision, especially considering the fact that other ships had been passing on warnings about ice in the water in that vicinity. 
Perhaps this is why it took the crew over a half an hour to launch the lifeboats instead of the standard 10 minutes. Hmm. Some people also blame Captain Smith for allowing the first batch of lifeboats to leave half empty. Yeah. The first boat. Yeah, uh, it's either in the comments someone said that or in the movie they said that. With 65 seats contain just 27 passengers. Why weren't they? Before he says anything, I heard and I've been told that it was because the rich didn't want to didn't want to be uh, muddled up with the poor. When you're on the cruise ship, essentially everyone's the same level. But of course, if you have that little bit of extra money, you're counted as rich. Rich not here. Rich not here at all, guys. Rich not here at all. Rich here. They packed full. In the beginning, people were reluctant to leave the ship and didn't realize that they were in grave danger. Everyone riding backwards and forwards, everyone screaming, panicking, getting off the ship. Hmm. There's some people that were saying that, no, nah, this is all right. The house is on fire. Let's just keep going. <laughs> uh, look, I'm going to continue doing my sewing, whether you like it or not. I don't even care if the house burns. Bad income. In 2012, researchers found out that Captain Smith had failed his first exam in navigation. Eventually, he passed. But who knows? Maybe this... Who was this guy? Did they, did they, I don't want to disrespect his name at all, but did they get a blind man off the street that was, you know what I mean? Like, I don't understand. There was so much protocols that were broken. I'm wondering if he got told by someone to do it though. And, and we know as him sinking with the ship, but maybe, I'm just throwing this out there. Maybe he knew that, he wasn't going to, uh, he wasn't going to survive, so he killed himself, of course. But also, maybe, someone, someone may have killed him on the ship. I don't know. I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just throwing that out there. Because maybe, like I said, someone was telling him to do all these things. I don't think it's just it was just him. I can't put the blame on one person. This too played its own role in the disaster. As the Titanic was sinking, the crew sent several distress signals. However, a ship sailing nearby, the Californian, ignored the emergency flare. The Californian ignored it as well. This what this is why this is so interesting this story of Titanic. The Titanic story is so interesting, guys. Uh. This is like porn to my ears. It's so interesting. Shot in the sky. The captain of the Californian later lost his job after this fact came out. <laughs> but modern researchers. <laughs> I bet you he, uh, I bet you he didn't survive very long after losing his job either. Whew. Have managed to prove his innocence. Well, better late than never. The reason nobody noticed the signals from the Titanic could be due to the phenomenon of light refraction. When layers of cold air are positioned below layers of warmer air, it causes thermal inversion. Th yeah, right. Thermal inversion, in turn, leads to the light refracting abnormally. In huh. short, all this creates mirages, and such mirages had been recorded by several other ships sailing in that area. So this better explains it. That's why they said it was just someone shooting from the shore, yeah, or the 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 um the captain of the other ship was asleep and they got woken up. He didn't actually see it, did he? It was actually one of his crew members. Historian Tim Malton is also convinced that light refraction that night could be the reason why the lookouts missed the iceberg completely. Criminal negligence, tragic and unfortunate chain of coincidences, fire or ice, whatever it was, 
It took the lives of hundreds of yeah. people and still keeps the minds of scientists yeah. busy to this oh, day. Not just scientists, but us as humans. What theory about the catastrophe do you believe? Share your opinion in the comments below. All right, guys, I want you to tell me yes or no. Do you believe that there was a fire? Do you believe that there was a fire, guys? I want you to tell me right now in the comment section. Do you believe that there was a fire and it hit that exact point, the soft point of the ship, yeah? Thus causing it to, to crack so easy. Let us know, guys, if you agree with that. But there's so much, pro so many protocols that were broken within side of Titanic. It was just ridiculous. So it makes me think that it wasn't just one person's fault. It, it was a lot of people to blame for it. Some people may say it's a freak accident, but I think it's just negligence, to be honest. And it's greed because people just want the, 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 the people in charge just wanted to sail because they, one, didn't want the bad reputation, and two, they wanted the money because if they spent. They, they spent so much money on this ship that even even if it was even if they knew that it was going to crash even if it got a slight hit even if they knew that they knew that the ship would just sink instantly yeah i don't know there's so many things so many things running through my head about this it's, it just doesn't sit well with me it honestly does not sit well with me at all and it, it it's it's crazy to think we're in 2021 and yet we're still talking about something that happened such a long time ago so that that makes me uh that makes me appreciate the movie even more the movie is sensational and to find out after the movie that it was based on a true story then like everything from the movie was based around similar to a true story yeah so no, i enjoyed this a lot it just it just yeah it's just it's got my head thinking again do you guys truly believe do you truly believe about the key as well but do you about the key being locked and they couldn't break the door down but do you believe that there was a fire guys let me know in the comment section if you believe there was a fire I'm a bit tossy turny at the moment. I'm a little bit toss. Uh, yeah, like I said, guys, I don't, I don't like to say, yeah, this person's at fault or yeah, this happened, and because our minds, unless we saw it ourselves, our minds can be open to interpreting a lot of lot of things. So the the interpretation levels inside of the story behind titanic is next level is next level because we can just think about so many different outcomes that we think actually did happen but they didn't happen but also things that we think that didn't happen may have actually happened so yeah it's it's a fascinating story uh titanic guys let us know in the comment section another video you you can recommend us doesn't just have to be titanic as well um something about movies guys okay it's about movies everything like that just remember that guys so let us know in the comment section if you enjoyed it also guys if you want to watch movies every single day go over to patreon guys that's where you can watch everything in full over there hopefully you guys enjoyed this and i will speak to you all very very soon let me know in the comment section guys like i said what you thought about today's video bye guys take it easy and we'll speak in a few minutes over on patreon bye guys take